Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. For today, I have a huge makeup clean out. The other night, after watching some clean out videos on YouTube, I got inspired to do yet another cleaning of my makeup. And everything that I cleaned out is in this bag. It is a lot of stuff, a lot of makeup that either I didn't like, I don't use anymore, or it's just really old and I just think it's time to get it out of my collection. I'll probably give it away to my friends or family. There's really nothing that's brand new that I really would want to donate because most of these things are probably used a little bit, so I probably would just give it to people you know, who know me well that really do not mind and that always ask me for my used makeup that when I get sick of it, because sometimes I'll use some things once, twice, maybe even three times, and then a lot of my friends and family really, really want them. So I did a major clean out, opened up some space in my makeup little vanity, and I just thought I would share with you guys everything that I'm gonna be getting rid of, either throwing it away if it's really old and gross, or giving it away to my friends and family. So if you wanna see what I'm cleaning out of my makeup collection, then keep watching. First thing that I'm gonna be getting rid of are all these LA Girl pro concealers and these became so popular a while back everybody was getting them for concealing for highlighting for contouring and the truth is i used them a couple times um but it was really just pretty much a waste of money because i got so many i think some of these haven't even been used but i think this is something that's good to give away and that a lot of people can probably get some good use out of it um, I have a ton of different colors, especially for either concealing and a lot for contour. Next from Gerard Cosmetics, I'm gonna get rid of all my, these are those glosses that light up. I don't know, these were awesome. I was really obsessed with them. They have a little light in there and they have a mirror so you can pretty much even put them on in the dark. A lot of the lights just don't work anymore. Like look, this one does. You see how, I don't know if you can tell how it lights up. And these are really nice. I used to really love these. My favorite color was definitely the buttercream, but I think these are already a little bit old. And honestly, just since I know that they're old, I really don't use them all that much. So definitely think I'm gonna be giving these away. I know my mom always loves to take my lip glasses. She doesn't care if they're old or new or whatever. I'm also getting rid of this one from Lancome. These are those little um, juicy shakers. I forgot what they're called but it's supposed to be like a little shaker. And I just thought that this was like the dumbest thing. I never ever liked this. It's kind of like an oil. I got the color that I felt I would love the most, but it's just, it just runs a lot. It doesn't really leave that much color. It just feels like your lips are just oily, but I feel like it just kind of like drips down. And I just really don't like these. Thankfully, I only got one. I think it's almost new just because I used it a couple times and I just thought it was a huge little, you know, I think it was just like a little, what is it that you call them? Kind of gimmicky. And um, I didn't really like it. It's not really something that I used. From Coastal Scents, I'm gonna get rid of my two blush palettes. These are really great deals. Um, if you really want some blushes, I remember I really liked these. And this 10 blush palette was the very first one that I got. This is like the original one. And I remember, I think this is even the second one that I have purchased just because I think I tried to depot the first one. I messed it up completely and ended up getting a new one, but I just never reached for them. And these are in really good condition. These are definitely something I give my mom because she goes to blushes and gloss like you have no idea. Also from Maybelline, I have a ton of these Maybelline lips, lipsticks. I have a lot of the ones that came in like the new collection. These like this, um, there was like, I think it was called the Buffs. And I used those actually a lot when they first came out. But then I guess I just stopped using them. And now I just have a bunch of those lipsticks that I just never reach for. I tend to reach for other nudes. And I also have the ones that were the really bright ones. These I thought I might keep just for the summer. They don't smell bad or anything, but I feel like I've already had them for a few summers. Um, and it just kind of grosses me out knowing that they're so old. So I'm gonna get rid of all those Maybelline ones. This is actually brand new. This is a MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base. I never really use this and I don't really expect to use it. Um, so this is definitely something that I'm gonna be giving away. More products from Gerard Cosmetics. 
I just became so obsessed with these when they first came out. But I have a ton of these Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. They look, they come in a little packaging, like the little bullets, similar to like the MAC ones. The one I liked the most, let me see, I remember this is the one that 1995, I think, is one of the ones that they made with Jaclyn Hill. I like the Jaclyn Hill one, but the nude one, right now I don't remember the name. Um, I think it was called Buttercup or something like that. Let me see if I have it around here. Buttercup. Yeah, that was definitely the one that I liked the most. This is the one that I use the most. It was a really pretty nude, um, pinky nude. So it was my type of nude, and I used and abused this so much. But really, I just have not reached for it in forever. Also getting rid of the Revlon. These are the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. And I used to be obsessed with these when they came out. I would also buy a ton of them every time a new color came out. I think I have more in here. But they're all these like this. And I just really stopped using these. These are actually really great if you want to try a really bright color. But you don't want to really commit to the bright lipstick. And these are just a little bit more sheer. They feel nice and buttery. They're actually really, really good. But... I just really don't reach for them. So if you want to try out like a red, they have a really pretty red, which I think I have in here somewhere. Um, and I remember I would love to wear it. And then you just kind of, you know, you get to do the red lipstick thing without going so va va voom. So if you're just wanting to get into like a bright color, but you still don't feel so comfortable that you want to just pop on that bright lipstick, those lip butters are really good deals. But I'm going to get rid of them just because I really don't reach for them. From Urban Decay, I'm definitely going to get rid of my Gwen Stefani palette. This is one that wasn't all that great. Um, I did use it. I did like some of the colors. I believe I like some of the mattes. I used some of the shimmeries for the lid. And um, it was okay, but I haven't reached for it at all. This is something that I'm going to give my sister. I did keep the blush palette. I do have that one. And that one I did like. Also, gonna get rid of my Wet n Well foundations. These are pretty new. Um, I wanted to test this out. This is the Photo Focus foundation. I got two colors, but I just really do not reach for these Wet n Wild products. Um, this is a pretty good foundation from the drugstore, but I tend to reach for my L'Oreal Cushion more. And then my favorite foundation for the drugstore is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. So if I'm going to go with drugstore products, I'll probably go for that one or the cushion. And I just never go for this one. So this is definitely something that I'm going to give away because it is fairly new. And I'm also going to get rid of the pressed powder. This is a really good pressed powder, actually. Um, it reminds me a lot of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's very good. Maybe I should keep this maybe put this like in my purse or like at my desk at work or something but it's just not one I threw it in here because it's really not something that I use all the time I don't grab it I grab all my other powders that I spend so much money on so I just felt like if I grab this one I don't know this one is a really good price but I have so many other ones that I'd rather reach for those some of um, these Milani eyeshadows these are the Milani single eyeshadows Bella eyes gel powder eyeshadow I kept some of these I believe I kept some colors that I use a little bit more but I just really have not been reaching for these so definitely getting rid of them also getting rid of this little Too Faced palette I don't know how I got this it probably was like a couple points or I got it in some I don't know some offer with Sephora or something also these Naked Urban Decay these are the basics one the original and the basics two these, I remember my last clean out, I was like, oh, I almost got rid of these. Um, but I decided to give them another chance. And I think since that clean out, I have not used them ever since. If you want, I'm going to go ahead and list my last clean out in the description box down below. Link it so that you guys can check it out. But these were kind of like iffy in that clean out. And now I was just like, I haven't used it since then. So definitely going to get rid of them. Makeup Revolution. These are brand new. I got the Makeup Revolution concealers just because I had read so much that they were so similar to the Tarte Shape Tape and that they were really good concealers and I didn't find them very similar. I also, I tested them a couple times. They weren't bad, but it's not something that um, I'm going to really reach for. So going to get rid of those. Also from Bite Beauty, I'm going to get rid of these. These are kind of like some lip lip pencils lipstick type of thing like they're pretty thick 
like that. Um, and I really like these, but I think these already had a little bit of a funky smell. So getting rid of it, I really liked the color. So I had one in pink and one in purple. And I think that this is something that needs to go in the trash because it stinks. I also have some other foundations that I'm getting rid of just because I really don't reach for them all that much. From the drugstore, I'm just gonna give away my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. This used to be really my go-to foundation that I would love, use, and abuse. But since they came out with the Pro Girl and the Cushion, I tend to reach for those a lot more. Also gonna get rid of the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I have the stick, which I love so much more, the Ultra HD stick more than the liquid. So I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't reach for it anymore. Hourglass blush in Luminous Flush. I'm keeping other of my Hourglass blushes, but this was a pink that I no longer use. I don't like really how the color, I feel like the color changes a little bit on me and I don't like how it ends up. This pretty vulgar blush, I'm also gonna get rid of. I think I got these in, in one of my boxy charms. And I was really excited to try it, but it's just an extremely bright blush. And I love pink blushes, but this one is just a bit much. So have not been using it. From NARS, I have two lipsticks that I'm getting rid of, Barbarella and Belle Du Jour. These are actually really nice colors. Um, Barbarella is like a peachy color, and Belle Du Jour is a nice nude color. But these are old, and the packaging has also gotten really gross and sticky. So this is definitely something that I'm going to throw away in the trash. I don't know why that NARS packaging does that sometimes, but when you touch it, it's super sticky and gross. So those are going in the trash. I also have some cream eyeshadows. I have this one from Benefit. I don't even think they make these anymore. This is RSVP and they're all dried up. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I also have from Anastasia this waterproof cream color in Honey. And this, again, is very, very dried up. So these are the type of products that if you buy one, get the color that you like. Don't overdo it and get all the colors because these dry up fast. Also, from Bourjois Cosmetics, I have two more cream shadows. These are the Color Edition 24 Hours. And again, these also dried up. Went through my concealer drawer and also did some cleaning out. This is the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. And this is one that I'm getting rid of just because I don't really use it all that much. Also from Tarte, this is the Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. These are pretty good. They're not bad, but I have others that I use all the time so much more. And from It Cosmetics, this is the Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector. This is a shade medium. This one I use to correct. There's still a lot of it left, but I just don't use it anymore. From Lime Crime, I'm also getting rid of these lipsticks. These are pretty old and I have never used these. Honestly, I bought these and then I just stopped using them. Um, so these are almost brand new, but they're very old. I've already had them for a few years. Also, my Urban Decay Naked Lip Glosses. These are really old too, so I'm just kind of grossed out with these and these are definitely something that I'm gonna throw out. From MAC, I have these Prep and Primes. These I used to use a lot, especially the pink one. I had the Bright Forecast one, which was kind of an orange. I had the yellow one. And I think the one that I reached for the most was the Radiant Rose. I would use these like as a concealer topper just to brighten a little bit more. And I just haven't used these in a while, but these are pretty old. I've had these in my collection already, I think for more than two years or even longer than that. So definitely this is an item that I'm gonna be throwing out. Getting rid of my color tattoo, the liquid eyeshadows. Ever since Stila came out with their shimmer and glows, those are the liquid eyeshadows that I really reach for and I really just haven't touched this. Even before those came out, I really didn't gravitate that much towards these. These two Giorgio Armani lipsticks that I loved. These I used to use and abuse and this one I'm definitely gonna get it again. It is shade 508, it's the Rouge Dermani. And this is like an amazing pink. They still carry it, but I think it's time to get a new one just because I really use this one. It's almost finished, but it's also really old. And then I also have this nude that I'm getting rid of. This is shade 55. This is the Luminous, no, what is this called? But I remember I had read this in a magazine that Kim Kardashian used to use this one. And this was like, way before keeping up with the Kardashians or right when keeping up with the Kardashians began and I went out and bought it right away. So you can imagine just how old this is, how old is that show. Also from MAC, 
I'm getting rid of these two lipsticks. These are the mineral mineralized rich and these were really bad quality. These were not the best lipsticks at all. And I just really never use these. You would put them on and like in five minutes, it'd be gone. So these I'm definitely gonna back to Mac them. Getting rid of these L'Oreal infallible paints. These are eyeliners that I bought recently. They were liquid eyeliners of these really nice vibrant colors in this green and in this blue. And I used them the very first time, like once or twice, and it was like, wow, this vibrant color. But I feel like they dry up really, really fast, and they no longer do that beautiful line that they did on the first or second time that I used them. So getting rid of them, that really pisses me off because I think these should last a little bit more than two times and they did. I have some more lip glosses that I'm getting rid of. This one is from Maybelline. This one was actually really, really vibrant, but I've just had it for such a long time and it's extremely purple, so I really don't use it all that much. This Adesse New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick. This is fairly new. I think I got this in a boxy charm, um, but I just really don't like the color all that much. From NARS, this is the Born This Way Gloss. This is really old, so definitely have to get rid of it. And from Galactic, I'm getting rid of this matte lip paint. Again, this came in one of my subscriptions. I don't know if it was BoxyCharm, probably BoxyCharm. Um, but I just really don't use that color. So definitely something that I'll be giving away because those are so those two from the subscriptions are fairly new. Tattoos, these are the crayons. I haven't reached for these in forever. I always reach for the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. Um, and I just haven't touched these anymore. Also from Milani, I used to love these. These are the shadow eyes, and I just haven't reached for these at all. So definitely gonna be getting rid of these to someone who will use them because I have not touched them in forever. So a couple other things that I've gotten as samples, like this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. This was a free sample, but I just never used it because I tried it once and I didn't like it. Also this DLS eyeshadow crayon. I think I got this in a subscription. Don't use it, just like this Ofra liquid lipstick. It's not my color that I would like to use, so I'd rather just give it away to someone who could use it. From Cover FX, this shimmer veil that looks like this, I really don't see me using one of these shimmer veils in this pinky color. That has not been used, so I do think it's something that someone else could take advantage of. This lipstick from Hourglass, I used to love. This is called Fable. It was like such a beautiful nude color. I did use it a lot. It's very light, but it's probably very old. I don't even know if they still have this line. And this is another lipstick that came in the subscriptions, but it's really not a color that I see me using. I wanted to save it just in case I would use it, but um, I haven't touched it ever since I got it. Probably more also for the fall, but I don't know. I mean, it is a kind of cool color for the fall, but I really don't grab those colors all that much. From Clinique, this eyeliner, pretty easy liquid eyelining pen. I don't know how I got this. I think I got it for free, maybe in one of those little Clinique 500 points, I don't remember. But I know I didn't buy this, but it just dried up so much. I actually try to use it right now. I grabbed it and then I just threw it in my get rid of bin because it was very dry and I just did not like it at all. From Bite Beauty, I'm getting rid of this Grace color. The color looks so pretty. It looks like something that I would totally use, kind of like a little violet pink. But on my lips, I really don't think it shows like this color and I just don't think it looks very good on me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Also, the Brow Gal, I'm getting rid of this too. This is fairly new but um, I really have tried it and I didn't really love it. It came in one of my subscriptions. And the last few items I'm getting rid of, also this sample of the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. Tried it, didn't love it. Also this Revlon lipstick. This is fairly new, but I really have not used it at all. What are these called? I'm getting all dirty because something spilled in there. I don't even know what this is called, but um, it is just very, very sheer. And it's really not something that I really would reach that much for. I have some more of these um, pencil shadows. This one's Scandalized from Rimmel. I have one from Sephora. Again, don't use them, so why am I gonna keep them? From MAC, this is the Patent Polish Lip Pencil. This one I really liked, and I really wanted to use it, and I love the color but it doesn't really last all that much on the lips. Maybe I'll give this one a try because I feel like this one was a little 
pricey and why is it this color? Sayane, this came with my last subscription. It has like a stamp and a really thick felt tip liner and a stamp, which I am not gonna wear a star on my eyes. So I'm gonna get rid of it too. From Pixie, I got this kind of like, it's like a little blush and I think you can also use it on your lips, but I got the shade Watermelon Veil. I thought it was a good idea, you know, but I just really didn't like the pink color. It's a little bit bright and it looks a little weird. Getting rid of this NARS gloss. This is supposed to be clear and look how gross it is. So definitely throwing this away. And last but not least, I'm getting rid of this Nude Delight lipstick from Rimmel. This is actually a really good nude lipstick, but I just haven't reached for it anymore. It's pretty old. So I think it's time to get rid of it. It's not one that I'm gonna be repurchasing just because it's been forever since I have used it. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup clean out. I think it's always good to clean out your makeup and kind of just like reorganize your makeup stash and just make sure that you kind of get rid of the old products and put in the new products in a place where they're easily accessible so that you can use your products because you don't use the makeup that you can't see. So it's always good just to do these cleanouts every few months just because sometimes I feel like I clean it out and then you get so much new stuff or even in those subscriptions you get such so many new products that then you start just filling up your stash with crap that you probably won't even be using. So I think these cleanouts are always good. Um, I'll probably be doing another organizational video coming soon. Let me know if you guys wanna see that, a little bit of an update because I'm always changing around my makeup organization depending on the products that I begin, you know, getting new products or the products that I'm like currently using at the time. I always like to have those readily accessible in my Muji drawers on top of my vanity. So let me know if you guys wanna see that coming soon i'll make sure to list all the products i mentioned in the description box down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go and as always i just want to say thank you thank you so much for watching be lounge makeup and i'll talk to you very very soon bye